Hello, my name is Kyle Segreja. This is a application that uses an ArrayList type. And basically, it takes an array of 10 integers and it uses the insert at. And then you specify a some number to remove, and it will remove all those, the anything that is that number basically uh, so what I'm gonna do is put a 2 and then a 1 and then a 2 and then a 3 and then a 2 and then a 4 and then a 2 and then a 5 and then a 2 and then a 6 okay so that's that so you can see 2 1 2 3 2 4 2 5 2 6 so if I remove all these twos, it will have one, uh, actually it will go one, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I should have used um, zero or something, but whatever. So what number item do I want to remove, basically? I'm going to put two, and as you can see, one, three, four, five, six, it removed all the twos. And that's basically all it does, and I'm just going to show the code real quick so you can see the remove all and this is the method that was used and it takes some number which was two and then it goes through the array list and if this index ha contains this value to uh, remove this index then you know it's just pretty simple so that's that, and let's see if we can find the other insert at. Um, I think this is the one. It takes the location and an insert item. So location is going to be greater than zero, or if if it's less than zero or greater or equal to max then we have a problem because it can't insert in a full array and obviously it needs to be greater than zero so this checks again cannot insert in a full list so because this this might pass for some reason uh, yeah, this is a, already has a check here, so this check here is kind of redundant. <laughs> um, it should f oh length. Okay, I'm sorry. So this is checking location. And once that passes, this is another check for the length. So that the location can has to be uh, in this range. So the location passes. And then the length is checked, okay. And it can't insert in a full list because this is full. So once those checks are done, it's gonna iterate through the length, and this is gonna go down. So it's gonna actually start at the, I guess the end and work its way down so what happens is the last one will equal the one before it so if this is a hundred index a hundred it will equal 99 it'll work its way all the way down and what happens is this gets inserted into a specific location and the length increases so it, it's dynamic. The length can uh, increase. And that's it pretty much. So I'll show you how that works from the test code. And so what happened was at the 10 integers. Yeah. Okay. So insert at, we saw that, we gave it a location and the number to insert 
and this happens ten times, takes a number, and then just oops. So this prints. Um, I guess I'll show that the remove all. That was the first method I showed you. So that just takes some some element. It checks every index. If that element is there, that number, then it removes it. And um, this prints the list after showing that this number was removed from the list. All instances of this number. And yeah, that's that. So. I don't see um, okay maybe this there we go I used to uh, this IDE it's been a while since I've been on here so yeah this is what I wanted I need the function print just so I can show how that works and just iterates through the array and see out list I pretty simple and that's it and then it has a space and then uh, well this is a for loop here so once this is done then it ends line so just puts the number, puts the space, then comes back, puts the number, puts the space, and then when that's done, ends the line. So it's all on one line. And that's it. That's the uh, three methods that are used for this application. And this is the array list type. So, okay. Thanks for watching.